Welcome to the HPE ProLiant installation video. Today we're going to be covering system compatibility, creating a least privileged user, installing the management pack, and configuring the adapter instance. We're going to be covering the OA and the ILO installs today. For the documentation, please visit docs.vmware.com. There we can type in true visibility suite documentation. And our first link will bring you to the documentation for all of the adapters. Here we can scroll down to HPE ProLiant. Under the system requirements section, you see the basic minimum requirements. Uh, also to note that the OA does not connect directly to the blades. You would connect the OA to the enclosure. Now for our least privileged user configurations for the ILO. Log into the ILO 5, go to administration. New. There we can give it a unique login name, name nine, ILO LPU. And under the user permissions, we only need a read only. We gotta make sure it has the login. And then we can add the account. For the OA, We'll log into the onboard administrator, users authentication, and then local users. Here we can go to new, and we'll give this a username. In this case, I did OA LPU. There, we'll change the privilege user to user, if it's not already. We want to make sure we have all device base and all interconnect base selected as well. and our user's been created. Now on to installing the management pack. First we'll go up to administration, repository, and then we'll click the add upgrade button. There's two options on this page, install if it's already installed and reset default content. You're only gonna need those on an upgrade of the adapter. This part has been greatly sped up for the video. It'll take much longer in your environment. Now, after that's installed, we can click Add Account, type in a friendly name, We'll enter our host in, and we'll use the LPU credential we created earlier. In this case, I'm going to be connecting to the ILO. And under advanced settings, you can see ports, timeouts you can change. 
and set SSL settings. Our test connection was successful, so we'll go ahead and click Add. Now the first collection, it'll be in a warning state. After a couple minutes, that'll turn green. And it's all set. If you have any additional questions, please contact your VMware representative. Thank you.